Hello, welcome to Jay's Tech and Travel by Loyal Tech and Security. Uh, today I'm going to be working on replacing a hard drive, a regular hard drive to an SSD hard drive on Apple Mac uh, system. This particular system is A1419 27 inch screen. And uh, this machine has currently this type of hard drive, a regular desktop hard drive one terabyte uh, there's a disk spinning in here but it's running slow now so I'm gonna be replacing with this one terabyte hard drive uh, from inland the way we are going to do this is we need to initialize this hard drive first so I'm gonna be utilizing a enclosure with the um, option to and uh, put in the SSD in there so let me just plug it in okay and I will turn it on and okay it's turning on then the rest is going to be on the screen while it's coming on uh, if you guys like the video uh, please make sure uh, you hit that like icon and hit that bell notification icon as well uh, for any future uh, videos so um, as soon as that hard drive turns on uh, on the screen you're supposed to get an uh, uh, initialize um, prompt uh, what you do is you just click on initialize and then you will get that SSD over here I have already done that that's the reason why you're seeing that SSD here but whatever the SSD you get all you do is right click on that click on erase I'm gonna erase that one more time for you but before I do that what I want to show you is this right here fusion drive this is your original drive which is currently in place and this is the external SSD which I'm about to transfer the data to currently the old hard drive is selected and as you can see about 255 GB is utilized and the partition is made under APFS that is very important for you to identify that because when you come down to the SSD, you wanna format it exactly the same way the original hard drive is formatted. So I'm going to name this new SSDs just so that I know where I'm replicating the uh, old data to. Format, I'm gonna leave it at uh, APFS. Uh, some other systems, they are at journal which is this one right here but this system current system is using APFS so I'm going to keep that and I'm going to click erase it is going to go through its uh, um, creating the partition map it's going to go through the uh, checking the disk and then it's going to start formatting once it's done um, you should see the successful message. Meanwhile, I'm going to speed up this process so you will see the end result. All right, so there we go. It's done. As you can see, operational, uh, operation successful. I'm going to click done. And then from here, I'm going to reboot the system. Now, I will keep that hard drive plugged in, which is still in here, the external hard drive. It is on. I'm going to keep it on. I'm not going to turn that off. But I am going to reboot that, uh, the system. You have a, a Mac keyboard. You're going to press Command and R both at the same time while it's rebooting. Okay, it's very important. So let's reboot. As soon as that Apple logo comes up, uh, you press Windows and R key and uh, if you're using a Windows keyboard you want to press Windows button and the R button at the same time if you are using a uh, Mac keyboard you want to press command button and the R at the same time and keep it pressed until you see it going to the recovery mode All right, there you go. It has come onto a recovery mode. From here, 
we are gonna go to a disk utility click on continue which is this one right here and I can see the old hard drive which is using 255 GB and I, there is a new SSD as well new SSD has a proper volume as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on restore and it's gonna ask me what do you want to restore we have two options here if you want a clean operating system um, you could go with uh, another image if you have but since I'm making a, a, a clone of an old hard drive I'm going to choose Macintosh HD data volume which is this right here all right and I'm gonna click restore and now it's going to do its thing this restore is probably going to take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour depending on the size of your uh, storage or how much data you're using so I'm going to fast forward it from here just keep an eye on this data here right now it's validating the target source and replicating it's probably going to say replicating twice in the end you just want to see it saying operation done successfully um, so I'm going to skip this part and I will uh, get to the part where it says um, successfully done okay so now you can see the operation is successful so I'm going to click done and just to test but uh, just to let you know first uh, 15 GB is in here and the other volume of 241 uh, GB which is this gray part right here equates to about 259 something 57 59 something so at this point the transfer is uh, done on this hard drive um, now I'm going to uh, take the hard drive out and put it into the um, the Apple computer uh, for that I'm gonna create a different video so if you click uh, up top here somewhere uh, you will see a link to uh, open up the um, Apple computer and um, and replace the hard drive until then, uh, if you guys like the video, uh, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon uh, for uh, any future related videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.